Hey guys, Foxy here and welcome back to another video and we're going to be doing something different for a while because now that I have access to the PvE, I am able to do champion spotlights for some of the new champions on the way to the PvE. And in this case, in this episode, we are going to be checking out the newest champion to be able to be going on to the PvE Kindred. In this video, we're going to be talking about her abilities, her playstyle, and my overall thoughts on uh, Kindred and possibly the newest champions that do come out onto the PvE. So let's start out with who is Kindred? Kindred is designed to be a ranged jungler and this is a bit unique because there are very few uh, ranged champions in terms of AD carries that can thrive in the jungle. I know Vayne is one of them, uh, possibly Draven can be another depending on how you play him and Twitch can possibly be another one too. And now we have a new addition, Kindred. And this is pretty unique and I'm very excited to be able to have a new range uh, AD carry in the jungle and I'm going to be very excited about it when she comes onto the live servers. And uh, as basically her playstyle, I'm gonna talk about a bit on that after when I wanna give my overall thoughts on this champion. So for now, let's go into her abilities. For her passive, Kin Kindred can mark an enemy champion anywhere on the map for death, and after a delay, the mark activates. So if Kindred kills them or assists in the death of that selected enemy champion, they gain a permanent stackable bonus to their basic attacks. I believe one of them at one stack was 1.25% of, of maximum health, so meaning Kindred can take down tanks pretty easily. That is great. Great. And I'm gonna love this champion when it turns to taking down a champion such as Volibear and Alistair, you know. Um, in addition to uh, being able to choose enemy champions, Wolf can automatically choose jungle creeps on the enemy jungler side of the map in order to be able to uh, gain the same stack too. And uh, so that means you're gonna have to go into the enemy uh, jungles uh, uh, jungle and uh, take out uh, their marked. Uh, jungle creeps and I honestly believe that this is a tribute to uh, using uh, reviving the use of poacher's knife the poacher's knife uh, jungle upgrade I don't think it's going to work but I believe that this is some tribute to you know it's kind of saying hey this isn't necessarily now you have an excuse to use this I still won't use it I believe there's a better uh, a better uh, upgrade to use which is uh, these not the stalker's blade the purple one fuck I, f I forgot the name of it i'm sorry <laughs> anyways and that's a passive you'll be able to get uh stackable bonuses uh looking at kindred's q dance of arrows basically kindred dashes into a target direction and after that she can fire up to three auto attacks at the same time it's sort of like a Ash uh, Q, and I think that's pretty great. Um, so moving on to uh, Kindred's W, Wolf's Frenzy. It has a passive in which Kindred's build stacks of Wolf's Frenzy, sort of like a static shiv as they move around, like a static shiv. And once fully stacked, Kindred's next basic attack steals a flat amount of health. Very clever. I like this ability in terms of that it's an addition to life steal, and I feel like this on top of life steal will be able to chunk enemies out greatly and give you a bunch of health at the same time. Now with Wolf's Friendlies, Wolf's Frenzies active, Wolf, the other technical champion other than uh, Lamb, temporarily splits from Lamb, creating a large spirit zone around him, and it attacks whoever Lamb's attacks or his closest enemy. Also, Lamb can cast a Dance of Arrows with a greatly reduced cooldown while inside of Wolf's Frenzy's area. I believe it is a 75% cooldown reduction when you use your Q while you're inside Wolf's Frenzy. And I believe that's something great, so that we can be able to get a bunch of Qs around if you want to be evasive in terms of being a very slippery champion to be able to mark skill shots with. So very clever. I like the idea of this. Um, moving on to Kindred's E, Mountain Dread is an active in which Kindred initially slows a target enemy and if they're able to attack their enemies uh, two times in a quick succession, the next auto attack will be uh, life stealed and uh, Wolf will be able to chunk a huge percent of max health against the enemy champion, a great way to take out enemy tanks. Also with your passive in terms of stacks, this is great, Kindred is able to take out tanks efficiently 
also being a very slippery champion and in terms of trying to uh, evade skill shots i think this is a great build so far in terms of abilities right it was very clever in terms of building this and moving on to lamb's ultimate lamb's respite in her ult, it's sort of a mixture of a bard and a janna ult, in which case Kindred creates a large but temporary zone beneath her or a target ally. And while active, Lamb's Respite prevents all units within its boundaries from dropping below critical levels of health, which I believe it's below 10%. And after a little bit, Lamb will be able to heal everyone inside that. This applies to um, all yourself and all allies, but also enemy champions. So if enemy champions are inside the area, they will also not be able to fall below critical levels and they'll get healed too. But there's some pros and cons to this, which I'd have to think about in order to be able to name them. Um, I believe this ult was, it's a bit controversial to me because it's like, Kendra's designed to be a jungler, a, a hunter jungler, you know, and Sims not like an assassin, but, you know, able to quickly get in and be able to be very slippery to be able to land skill shots on, you know, get in, do your business, and then get out. But this kind of doesn't really follow the same kind of pattern that a hunter would have, you know, it's kind of like a support kind of all, you know. I mean, I can see it being used in a team fight, and it's great for bringing utility to the team fights. But I don't think it follows the same kind of pattern that a hunter like Kindred should really have. Although I'm not complaining, it's a great ult. I would love to have this. Um, so yeah, we've gone over her abilities. Let's go over her playstyle. As we said, she is a ranged AD carry that thrives in the jungle. Um, I would recommend building devourers and getting sated on this champion and able to proc several um, uh, procs with this, such as uh, Sheen and uh, Bork, Blade of the Ruined King. These would be great items to be able to uh, uh, proc uh, with, uh, say, the devourer. And uh, that's what I have built in this video of this uh, preview. I have built uh, Devourer's uh, Blade of the Ruined King, I worked towards uh, Sheen, and I can't remember what I built afterwards. Oh, I built the Last Whisper, but uh, that's something that you should be building. At least this is the general build that is recommended by Riot, and uh, it's a great build. This is uh, something that Riot was successful. I believe Riot was very successful with building this champion. Um, so I want to give my overall thoughts about this champion because I have a large rant about this. Um, Kindred is a great champion. I would definitely, I'm definitely going to buy her when she does come onto the live servers. I'm going to be saving up my IP, possibly getting the skin that comes with her, Shadowfire. Um, uh, Kindred it looks pretty badass. It's kind of like a Sandstorm Echo, except in the same color scheme. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to buy her when she does come into the uh, uh, live servers. Um, Although, I have a little bit of concern because um, Kindred is very limited towards being a jungler. In terms of her passive, in terms of wolf marking enemy jungle creeps, if you're laning, it's not going to be any use of at all. I mean, the first half is going to be of use because you can target your enemy laner, and once you kill that uh, champion, you'll be able to get your stack of bonus, but that's the only way you're going to be getting your bonus, you know? If you're laning, you're not going to be able to go into the enemy jungle creeps because you're going to be missing out on farm, you know, it's going to be getting your stacks bonus. So I believe that Kindred's only limited to being a jungler and I think that's the one part where Riot went wrong because I feel like champions shouldn't be d designed for one role or one lane because I believe that the community should be able to uh, design their own meta for champions. Let's take an example into this. We have Echo, who was designed to be an AP assassin in the mid lane, but when released, we tried him out in different ways. We tried him ADC, support, tank, jungle, and we found out that he's a great top laner. He's a viable top laner if he builds tank or AD or AP. He can also be a great viable jungler too if he builds tank or AD or AP, you know? We as a community designed uh, Echo to be built into different ways instead of just being an AP assassin in the mid lane. Oh, I don't know who the hell plays him as an assassin. I see him as an AP fighter. But what I'm trying to get at is that Riot should really be designing their champions like very limited to one role. I honestly can't see Kindred being played in a different roles. I mean, I can see her being played in different roles such as top lane, but I don't see the viability 
because you're being miss you're missing out on almost half of your passive. And also, Shurik's best if as a ranged AD carry with attack speed if you get Seda Devourer, you know? It's just the way she's designed. I can't see her being built in any way except ADC. I can see her being built as an ADC, but I feel like she should be have she have a little bit more utility when it comes to abilities if she's going to be an ADC. You know, someone like Varus who has his damaging Q, a slowing uh, area of effects W, and or is that his E? I can't remember. And then he has Alt, which is a root, you know? So that's why Varus is a great ADC, because he has the benefits of have building full AD as a ranged champion, but also brings utility. With uh, Kindred, she can be an ADC, but she has a lot of damaging abilities, which pretty much almost take place of her auto attacks. And I think that's where Riot went wrong with this, because I feel like that she's just really limited to the jungle. And I'm really sad by this because I feel like that she she could have so much potential in anywhere, you know. I feel like that if she, if she, if Kindred doesn't jungle, if she's laning, you know, like she doesn't have Smite, I feel that uh, she should be able to uh, gain stacks of uh, her passive depending on how many uh, on how many. Uh, minions she last hits i feel like that would be a great way to build a uh, bonus stacks you know in addition to killing champions too but as of now she's pretty much limited to being a jungler you know but i i don't get me wrong i do believe that she still can be built into many different ways it's just up to us as a community to be able to just experiment with her go on the pb and just try different builds whether it's full ad full ap full tank full attack speed you know in top lane, jungle, mid lane, bot lane, you know, we just have to just experiment ourselves and just build something. And that's why, over the course of this next month, I'm going to be making a documentary series of uh, playing Kindred in uh, different lanes. Um, I actually have a video out uh, that's going to be put out right now, which is the video you're watching actually, which is the general build for Kindred. And after that, I'm gonna be building full AD, full AP, top lane, mid lane, blah, 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 and all that stuff. I'm gonna be building her in so many different ways, and we're it's just gonna be an experiment, you know, try to see where she's best viable at. So that's what I'm gonna be doing over the past several months. So if you really want to see you know, how viable she can be in terms of building other things, stick around. I'll be sure to keep those ready for you guys. Anyways, um, I believe that's all I really have for now. So if you want to see some more Kindred gameplays, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, just stick around and if you want some more news about kindred stay on this channel too and also check out the league of legends website and you know that stuff so anyways that's all the time i have right now so if you like this video at all be sure to leave a like down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel and make sure to subscribe for more league of legends videos and i'll be ready to see you in the next video whenever that may be so stay foxy guys and toodles